It's a long story. Oh, would you really like to hear it? No, sorry. But I don't mind. It all goes back on a bright and sunny morning at our house where we find Tommy singing his song and Miley and Mabel playing with dolls. I came by and informed the trio about the four, count them, four drones that looked like me but with different personalities. <laughs> I do that myself. This is the day where the children were off searching for the clones, and one, which happens to be Edward Fudd, not related to Elmer, folks. Anyway, he's a coyote hunter who shoots and kills coyotes. You know how that is. <laughs> Next up, they found my dream girl, who was delighted to see them. And after that, they found Isaac, the comedian. But the children ran out the disturbing during his performance. And finally, they came back here and found Joseph playing Guitar Hero, thinking he's in a band of some sort. Then Mabel commented with, they all look like pedestrians to me. So they went inside, had a little chat with him, and that's all you need to know about where these clones come from. Pinky, <laughs> 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 you're such a storyteller, yeah, I'll say. <laughs> the whole thing was terrific, especially with the coyote shooting and everything. Yeah, well. <laughs> and then the clones, they all looked like you, but they had different personalities and owners. Crazy, huh? Yeah, imagine clones with no homes and no families, but you, Pinky or indeed a family man, aren't you, son? You bet your fingernails! <laughs> Going on quests just like Indiana Jones and James Bond! And like Marlin teaming up with Dory to find his son, Nemo! Yes, sir! Those children have done a great job! I uh, hope my story didn't bore you guys, because Tommy, Mabel, and Miley only heard half of my story, and... <laughs> well, they must be snoozing to the time I finish.